everyone and welcome back to Brush and Bubbles. If you're new here, then welcome to the Bubble family. We bring you new art tutorials every week so you can get creative from the comfort of your own house. Today, we are going to be painting donuts. I'm super excited to jump straight into this painting because number one, I love donuts. And number two, this is such a fun painting to do because you can go so wild with your colours. I'm going to be going for a block yellow background to match my dress, but you can do any colour of background that you want. You might even want to do a rainbow coloured background or like an ombre shade or just a block colour as well, but just pick any colour or shade that you want. I'll then be showing you how we draw in our donuts and I'm going to go for quite a scattered effect of loads of donuts all over my canvas, but you might just want to do one or a couple, it's totally up to you. So before we get started, I'm just going to talk you through what you'll need to create this painting at home. To start with, I think it's just wise to cover up your table with some tablecloth or old newspaper. You'll need a canvas. I've got an eight by 10 size canvas here. I'm using three different size paintbrushes today, but you can go wild and choose any paintbrushes that you like. I've got a medium shaped square one, and then a smaller pointy one, and then a tiny little one for all the details. You'll then need some kitchen towel, a pot of water, a palette to pop all of your paints in, You'll then need your acrylic paints. So once we get started, I'll be showing you which colours I'm using for my painting. But like I mentioned before, please feel free to go rogue and wild and colourful with your own donut painting. So just set yourselves up, make sure you're nice and comfortable and you're relaxed. You can pop on some music if you want to and you can go grab yourself a drink as well. And then we'll jump straight into our donut painting. In my paint palette, I've got blue, white, yellow, pink, and black. If you haven't got pink, you can just mix it up using some white and some red paint. First thing to do is to have a little think about what color you want your background to be. So I would just have a think about what color you'd like to do for your donut icing and then pick a color that might work well with it. So you don't want to have pink on pink, or blue on blue. So I'm gonna go for a yellow background and then I'm gonna do some pink icing. So to start with, I'm just picking up my medium shaped brush and I'm just gonna mix up a light yellow shade. So I'm gonna start with lots of white as my base and then I'm gonna add some yellow to it and give it a good mix until I'm happy with the color. As soon as you're happy with your background shade, you can just go ahead and cover up the whole of the background of your canvas. Make sure that you also paint the sides when you meet the sides and also the top and the bottom. We're now just going to leave our background to dry for about 10 minutes. And while you're waiting for it to dry, you can give your medium brush a good wash. Once your canvas is dry, we're now going to move on to drawing in our donuts. So for this, we want our smaller brush and we're just going to start by sketching them in with some white paint. And then once we've got in the idea of where we want them to be, we can then go and fill them in with the colour. So I'm just going to pick up some white paint and I'm just going to dash off any excess from my paintbrush just so I've got a nice amount on my bristles and I can bring them to a nice peak. Then moving over to your canvas, just decide where you want your first donut to go. So I'm just going to start by doing a small sort of oval shape. So that's going to be the centre of our donut. Now don't worry if your circle or your oval is a little bit wobbly because these are donuts and they need to look natural so we can go with that. What I'm then going to do is just start doing a semicircle around the top of this oval that we've got here, leaving about an inch or half an inch. So starting from this side, I'm just going to sweep the brush up and around. So we have a shape like that. What we're now going to do on this part is instead of just meeting it around to create a sort of lemon-like shape, we're going to do a wobbly kind of line. So this will symbolise where the icing will be dripping on the side of the donut. So 
So just carefully, using that same shape, just draw a wobbly line. Sweeping around the base and then coming up on the other side to meet this line. And if you feel like it, you can just bring this side slightly down to meet the wobbly line. So that will be where the icing sits. Picking up some more white paint, we then just want to draw another sort of semicircle around here just to symbolise the base of the donut. So just find where your icing comes down at either side and you can just carefully draw in a line underneath that, swooping around in the same sort of way. And that will be the actual doughnut dough. What you can then do as well, just to add a little bit more depth and perspective, is in this oval that we drew originally, you can just draw another almost semicircle, starting from that side and then going around and meeting the other side. And then that will also be dough as well. So what I suggest doing is, depending on what colour you want your icing, I'm going to go for a light pink. I just want to give the icing a base. So I'm just going to fill in the whole top section where the icing is going to be with white. So I've got white as my base before I go in and paint in my colour. So you might want to do the same now. So just fill in that whole section. So we can use that same formula as we've got with our first donut to draw in all of our others. And it's up to you how many you want to do. You might want some of them coming off the side and wrapping around the corners and the top of your canvas, but you can just go ahead and fill in some more donuts. So I'll just show you one more in exactly the same way. I'm just going to do an oval like shape for the middle. Adding that semicircle for the top. And then drawing that wobbly line for the icing. I'm just going to draw the base of the donut again, just doing that sort of semicircle scoop underneath, starting from this side where the icing is and going all the way to the other. And then I'm just going to do that little line in the oval. And again, I'm just going to fill in the middle where the icing is. Once you're happy with that one, you can just carry on and fill in more donuts all over your canvas. Once you've mapped out where your donuts are, we just want to give our little brush a good wash. And while we wait for them to dry, we're just going to move on to creating the sort of brown like donut colour. So for this, I would just pick up some white paint and we essentially want to make a brown shade. So we're going to mix up a whole load of the colours together until we're happy with the colour that we want for our donuts. So to this white, I'm just going to add a little bit of blue some yellow, some pink, and a very small amount of black. And I'm gonna give it a good mix and see what color I get. So I'm gonna carry on adding a little bit more yellow to this mixture and a little bit more black. 
So I've run out of yellow, but I'm also going to add some red paint to my palette because we want to add some red to sort of give it more of a biscuit like tone. So I'm now just going to add some red into this mixture and also some more yellow and give it a good mix again. So I'm now getting more of a sort of red undertone brown shade. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit more black to this and give it a good mix. So now I have more of a brown like tone for my donut base. I'm just going to dash off any excess and we're just going to move back over to our painting and we're just going to carefully start to fill in all of the areas of our donut where this shade would go. So I'm just going to focus on the ones that are slightly drier to start with. And you can just carefully start to fill in these gaps. Overlap it with the white paint that we first used to draw on our canvas. And if you feel that your paint is a little bit too dark, I feel like this might be too dark, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit more white to my mixture. and even a touch of the yellow that I had to start with. And then go back in with this. So it's a bit of an experiment until you're happy with the shade that you're creating. You can also add this to that center bit just inside here. And if you want to and you've got a smaller brush, you can always switch to a smaller brush if you wish. So remember that we're going to be painting our icing on the top of this. So we want it to look like the icing is sitting on top of the base of our donut. So don't worry too much about this line here because we're going to fill it all in with our icing colour. So whenever you're ready, you can just go ahead and fill in the rest of your donuts. While we wait for this paint to dry, we just want to wash off our brushes. And we can now decide what colour you want to do for your icing. So I'm going to mix up a light pink shade. So I'm just going to pick up some white, move it over to a different dish. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of pink and give it a good mix. As soon as you're happy with your icing colour, we can then go ahead and add this to the top section of our donuts. Now, you can do a little dance between your brushes depending on which one you prefer to use. I tend to do use this one for the, for the main sections and then move over to my smaller brush if I want to add in any of the extra details. But you can just carefully start to fill in the top section where the icing is and we just want to overlap it gently and slightly with our background colour. And the way I like to do that is just by pushing the bristles of the brush down onto the canvas, let the bristles fan out and just gently drag the brush around and it gives you that nice, crisp, even line. And then you can do that if you want to as you meet the donut base here. So you can just fan out the brush and then almost just wobble it around following that line that you've already created for the icing just making sure you're overlapping the base slightly so it looks like the icing is dripping down over the dough. And if you want to add a little bit of highlight to your icing, you could just pick up a little bit of 
white paint, dash off any excess. And then while the underneath shade is still wet, you can just sort of add a little bit of this lighter white shade just to give it a pop of highlight to look like it's glossy. Then whenever you're ready, you can just go ahead and fill in all of the other donuts, either using the same colour or you could mix up a whole array of different colours and do them all with different icing. So we just want to leave this to dry nicely for about five minutes so you can wash off your brush in the meantime. And we'll just give it a few minutes to dry. So using whichever brush you prefer, we now just want to add a few little sprinkles on the top of our donuts. And you can use any colours that you want for this. If you want to go more pastel, you can just add some more white to your mixture. If you want to go more bright, you can just go straight in with the colours from your palette. So to start with, I'm just going to start with the yellow that I had for my background. I'm just picking some up with my small brush and I'm just going to do tiny little dashes facing in different directions across the top of my donuts where the icing is. You can then carry on and do this across all of your donuts, just doing tiny little dashes facing in different directions. As soon as you're ready, you can just mix up some other colors and carry on adding the sprinkles all over your donuts. As soon as you're happy with how many sprinkles you've added on top of your donuts, you have then completed your donut masterpiece. If you like this video, then please don't forget to give us a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to know whenever we bring out new art tutorials like this. Thanks everyone. Bye.